One of the most powerful aspects of Autodesk Inventor is that the dimensions you create when you make your model can be imported into the drawing and used in the drawing environment as well. These dimensions are truly parametric and can be used to cha make changes both in the drawing and in the model. In this video, I'll show you how to import model annotations and use them in your drawings. The ability to retrieve model annotations and place them in a drawing is something that makes Autodesk Inventor extremely powerful because those model annotations can be used to drive the model and the drawing at the same time. Let's take a look at this drawing that I have on the screen. You'll see here that I have a simple flange with four holes in it and then I have the model that was used to create it. If I look at the sketch underneath the model you'll see that it simply has a few dimensions in here, a couple of linear diameters and a couple of depth dimensions. And then there's the first hole at the top, and then I did a circular pattern for the other holes, and then there's the center hole there. All of those are, all of that information is held in sketches that we can retrieve into the document. So returning to the document, if I want to place those dimensions into the drawing, it's as simple as moving your mouse over the drawing itself, right clicking, and then coming down and choosing automated, pardon me, retrieve model annotations. You'll see that it shows all of the dimensions that you have available to you, and you can simply use your mouse to select the ones that you want to have in that view. So I'll pick those four. It's not appropriate for me to have this diameter, or this diameter, or this diameter in there, so I will not select those. Once I'm done with selecting my dimensions, I can choose OK. And you'll see that it places them in the drawing. They can now be simply adjusted so that they're in the right place. And you'll notice that as you get to certain places in the drawing, they kind of snap into location so that it even helps you with spacing on your dimensions. Now these dimensions are very close to where I placed them in the original sketch. But if I wanted to have, say, this five and a half inch diameter on the inside, I could simply change the location of it by selecting it here and dragging it over, and then just readjusting where my start points are, if necessary. And I'll stagger these two a little bit so that they don't conflict. In this view, I can do the same thing. Right click, retrieve model annotations. I need this one. I need this one. I need this one. Say OK. And again, they can be adjusted and placed wherever I need them to be. Now again, one of the best things, the most powerful things of this uh, situation here is that now these dimensions can be used to drive the model. So for example this is a model annotation saying the bolt circle for these four holes uh, the four holes lie on a circle that has a diameter of four and a quarter inches and the size of those holes is 0 0.50 but if I wanted to make that change all I have to do is go to that model annotation right click my mouse choose edit model annotation and you'll see that it tells me I'm editing dimension D5 which is from the model itself. If I were to make that 4 inches for example 4.00 notice that it automatically updates the view here, the section view here, the isometric view here and it also updated the view over here. If I go back to that sketch that I placed under it notice now again it's 4 inches it works both ways. If I wanted to make it the other direction in the model I can change that number. Let's say I'll change it back to four and a quarter. It updates the sketch here when I finish. It updates the model and when I come back to the drawing it has updated the drawing here as well. And this works for all of the features that are using model annotations. It's limited to model annotations. If I were to come in and put just a regular driven dimension in, let's say I put one in for, again, if I put this one in, 
This is a driven dimension, and I cannot use this one to drive the size of the hole. So it's better to use model annotations whenever you can.